Hi, it's me, and I'm going to review Dr. Fuller's points combo midterm. Lung chi deficiency, difficult to exhale, aversion to wind, spontaneous sweating, shortness of breath, thin, clear, white sputum, asthma, wheezing cough, lung chi deficiency, pulse is thin and weak, tongue is pale with thin coat. Points combination, we're going to use bladder 13, bladder 43, lung 9, LI4, and stomach 36. By the way, the kid that you can hear in the background is fine. His dad's getting him food, so continue. And by the way, I've already made probably 10 videos by now and have deleted them, so I'm getting right to the point. All right, wind cold, more chills, more chills, less fever, cough with copious, white, clear, thin sputum, body pain, headache, nasal congestion, wind cold, pulse, floating, tight, tongue, no change, wind cold, treatment principle, expel wind cold with pungent warm herbs and release exterior. Wind cold, use lung, large intestine, and bladder meridians. Moxa and slide cupping for sore back and neck. Phlegm obstructing the lung. Cough, chest fullness, discomfort, copious phlegm, shortness of breath, maybe wheezing, cough, worse with lying down if serious. Phlegm obstructing the lung. Pulse, slippery, tongue, white, greasy coat. Phlegm obstructing the lung. Treatment principle, warm lung, transform phlegm. Move and regulate chi, expel phlegm. Phlegm obstructing the lung. Use lung, large intestine, stomach meridians. Sedate or moxa, gentle needling technique. Heavy moxa. You want to use heavy moxa to transform that phlegm. Phlegm obstructing the lung points combo. Stomach 40, REN 6, REN 12, REN 17, bladder 12, bladder 13, ding chuan if needed, lung 5, spleen 9. Dryness of lung. Dry throat, mouth and nose, dry cough with phlegm. I take that back. It is without phlegm. Dryness of lung, let's start over. Dry throat, dry mouth, dry nose, dry cough without phlegm or small sticky amounts. Might, may have chest pain. Dryness of lung. The treatment principle, moisten lung and stop cough. Dryness of lung, use lung and large intestine meridians, no moxa, which is similar to lung yin deficiency. I missed that. Dryness of lung, pulse, thin, maybe wiry. And the tongue, dry, with white or slight yellow coat. Wind heat, more fever, less chills, sore throat with yellow sticky phlegm, may have headache. Wind heat, the pulse is rapid and floating. The tongue, no change or red tip. Wind heat treatment principle, expel wind heat, relieve exterior. With that, you're going to use in a case of wind heat, you're going to use lung and large intestine meridians, sedation method, and only upper body points. Wind heat, points combination, do 14, lung 11 or lung 10. You can bleed or needle them. Um, you do that for the sore throat. You can also add in gallbladder 20, LI 11, and lung 7. Here we also have large intestine syndromes. 
we have deficiency syndromes, which are one, young, and two, cold. You have excess syndromes. You can have excess heat or excess syndrome like parasites or food stagnation. You can also have cold invading the large intestine, damp heat invading the large intestine, large intestine dryness, and then also you see here blood stagnation with heat in the large intestine. Damp heat in the large intestine. Let's make this easier for me. Where'd it go? Damp heat in the large intestine. The treatment principle. No. Just trying to move it. Okay, damp heat in the large intestine can be dysentery, acute gastritis, or may be caused by diet, spicy and greasy foods, and emotions, long-term anxiety and worry, burning sensation from anus, abdominal distension and fullness, foul-smelling stool can be diarrhea or dysentery, scanty dark urine may have blood and mucus in the stool, Fever, sweating, thirst, thirst without desire to drink, heaviness of limbs, body, chest, and epigastric stuffiness. Damp heat in the large intestine. Pulse is rapid and slippery. Tongue is greasy and yellow coat. Damp heat in the large intestine treatment principle is clear heat and remove damp. Use stomach, large intestine, and spleen meridians. And the moo uh, and lower hasi of the large intestine, we sedate and do not use moxa. Damp heat in the large intestine points combination, large intestine 2, large intestine 11, stomach 25, 36, 37, and spleen nine. What else do we have? There's a, another large intestine one over here. Dr. Fuller told us to. No. Okay. Blood stagnation in the large intestine. Okay, see that? Blood stagnation in the large intestine is similar to acute appendicitis. Acute appendicitis. It's painful around the abdomen, fixed pain, especially on the right side. Patient bends legs up to relieve pain, nausea, and vomiting. Blood stagnation in the large intestine. It the treatment principle is to clear heat and expel stasis, and we use a strong sedation method. So blood stagnation in the large intestine. For the points combination, we have here the Lanway, the appendix point, LI11, LI4, stomach 25, stomach 27, stomach 36. Another gastrointestinal disorder, food stagnation with heat, characterized, hold on, poor, let me see if I can read this, poor digestion, acute gastritis, Epigastric fullness and distension, acid reflux, abdominal pain, which doesn't like pressure, foul belching, nausea, and vomiting. Food stagnation with heat. The tongue is thick, white, or yellow, greasy coat. The pulse is slippery and full. Food stagnation with heat. Treatment, treatment principle is to purge, guide downward, and remove food stagnation. We use the stomach meridians, the moo of stomach, 
and we use between neutral and sedation method for all points. Points combo for food stagnation with heat, stomach 21, stomach 25, stomach 36, stomach 40, spleen 4, pericardium 6, REN 12. And down here I, it says you use stomach 37 if they have bowel movement problems. I'm going to move on to the spleen pathologies Dr. Fuller told us to review. The first one I have is, this is not, not as easy as people make it look. Okay. Spleen chi deficiency. So with spleen chi deficiency, we have weight back up. I knew I was going to do that. Disregard what I just said. Spleen chi sinking is what we're going to be evaluated on. Spleen chi sinking, we all know prolapse, prolapse, prolapse. Urgent frequent urination. Spleen chi deficiency signs and symptoms also. So you have pale, they, they're pale, they're tired, poor appetite, bloating, loose stools, all that fun stuff. So, spleen Spleen chi sinking. The tongue is pale. The pulse is weak. Spleen chi sinking. Treatment principle. Well, the spleen chi sinking points combination, if you see here, only needle two points for spleen chi sinking. Needle REN6 and stomach 36. You moxa do 20, ren 8, and ren 4. Spleen and lung deficiency. Chronic cough, copious, clear, thin phlegm, abdominal distension and bloating, especially after eating, low energy, Spleen and lung deficiency. Treatment principle, tonify lung and spleen chi. By using the tie-in meridians, also yang ming, the stomach back shoe. Spleen and lung deficiency points combo. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. UB13, UB20, UB23, UB43, Lung 9, Spleen 9, Spleen 3, Stomach 36, REN 6, REN 12. What else do I have on here? Also use Spleen 6, and lung one in addition to treatment. Let's move on to the heart pathologies. We have heart chi deficiency. Blood loss from chronic illness involving, involving serious hemorrhage or chronic cough. or chronic hemorrhage. I don't know where I got cough from. Made it up. Emotional problems, palpitations, more in the daytime. Heart chi deficiency. Patients are also tired. They have shortness of breath on exertion, spontaneous sweat, chest discomfort, lack of strength, and heart chi deficiency patients are pale. Heart chi deficiency tongue is empty. I don't want to be in here on the camera. Heart chi deficiency. Tongue is pale or normal. Is severe, may have midline crack reaching the tip and swelling on either side. Pulse is empty, thin, weak, choppy, 
intermittent heart chi deficiency treatment principle tonify heart chi connect pulse calm mind use heart and pericardian meridians tonify moxa heart chi deficiency points combo ub14 ub15 ub53 ub43 pericardium 6 heart 7 ren 17 ren 4 Phlegm fire harassing the heart can be epilepsy, schizophrenia, windstroke. Ideology can be emotion, chi stagnation leading to fire. It can be due to diet. Hot, creasy foods leads to heat phlegm or EPI heat with fever invading pericardium, causing mental confusion and unconsciousness. Phlegm fire harassing the heart, mental restlessness, easily startled, incoherent speech, rash behavior, hitting or scolding people, uncontrolled laughter or crying, phlegm fire harassing the heart. Treatment principle, clear heat and clear heart fire, open orifices, expel phlegm and calm mind. Phlegm fire harassing the heart. I forgot to mention down here that the tongue is red. With a yellow greasy coat, there's a midline crack with prickles in it. It may, may be redder and swollen, maybe redder and swollen red dots. The pulse can be full, rapid, full, rapid, slippery, full, rapid, wiry, rapid, overflowing, slippery. So phlegm fire harassing the heart. We have use heart, pericardium, and stomach meridian, sedate, no moxa. Phlegm, you don't want to add more heat to that fire. Phlegm fire, harassing the heart. Treatment principle or points combo. Pericardium 5, pericardium 9, sanjiao 5, stomach 40, LI 11, and the four gates, liver 3 and LI 4. Small intestine chi knotted. Similar to chi stagnation pain, always acute, can be appendicitis, sudden violent, it's small chi, small intestine chi knotted. It's characterized by sudden violent abdominal pain, constipation, vomiting, dislikes pressure, abdominal distension, borborygmus, flatulence. Small intestine chi knotted, pulse is deep and wiry, tongue is thick white coat. The treatment principle for small intestine chi knotted, remove obstruction from lower jowl, move small intestine chi, sedate and use e-stem. Points combo for small intestine chi knotted, long way shui, the appendix point, liver three, stomach 25, spleen six, stomach 39. Gallbladder 34. I'm just looking. Okay, I think we have two more to cover. Spleen yang deficiency. Chronic loose stools slash diarrhea or constipation if chronic kidney, chi, and yang deficiency. Dull abdominal pain, borborygmus, pale urine, spleen yang deficiency, cold feelings and fear of cold, cold limbs may have rectum prolapse. The tongue for spleen yang deficiency is thin white coat and the pulse is weak. So for spleen yang deficiency, the treatment principle is to tonify and warm the middle jowl large intestine and spleen. Here we're going to needle one point, stomach 36, and we're going to moxa six points. So for spleen yang deficiency, we moxa six points, needle one. The moxa is ren eight, ren six, ren four, do four, UB20, and UB23. 
What else am I doing? Okay, I think this is the last one that we have. That I have, actually. It is cold invading the stomach. So external pathogenic influence cold, EPI cold. So it's due to exposure to cold or excessive consumption of cold and food and ice drinks. This is not the stomach flu. Cold invading the stomach is characterized by sudden epigastric pain, vomiting, cold feelings, preference for warmth, vomiting clear fluids, and it's worse after cold drinks. The tongue and pulse for cold invading the stomach is a thick white coat. And the pulse is deep, slow, and tight. The treatment principle for cold invading the stomach is to expel the cold, warm the middle jowl, and direct down rebellious chi. We're going to use the stomach, spleen, and red, ren meridians. We're going to sedate and use moxa. The points combo for cold invading the stomach is spleen 4, stomach 13, stomach 21, and stomach 34. So there you go. These are all of the, if you can see it, all of the syndromes that I have written down that Dr. Fuller wanted us to know for the midterm. Hope you guys enjoyed. It'll get better as time goes on. I'm tired now. Peace.